Mr. McClure, and we are live with the internet phone in. Fantastic stuff. Nine o'clock on Tuesday, the 5th of October. Nothing gets past me, you see. And lovely to have you with us, of course. And a very, very warm welcome to all our lovely brothers and sisters on TikTok. Dinky do TikTokers. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome. That is just amazing, fantastic stuff. Lovely to have you with us as well, always. So there we go. So we've got our TikTokers, and we've got our Twitchers, we've got our YouTubers, and we've got our Facebookers, and that is absolutely fantastic for that. I thank you. Welcome, 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 I say. Now then, who have we got here? Lots and lots of chat. Number, uh, what are we at tonight? Is it number 39? That's the stuff, number 39 tonight. And we're up for all the chat, dinky do from Scotty McClure. Hi from Coles Norton. Hello, the inspiration for Da Vinci's David. Good afternoon, sir. I thank you very much. Are you talking you or me? Uh, what a privilege to have us all together in the one place. Tremendous. Now, you've got the number in front of you, so you know you can give us a call at any time. How tremendous that. Our Facebookers should be back with us tonight. Thank you, Mr. Goatface, for my lovely, lovely TikToks. Share the live. Long time no see Scotty, says T-Smart. There we are. Tremendous. Thank you, Mr. Goatface, for 20 beautiful TikToks. That is so very, very kind of you. Uh, there we go now. Hello all, says Susan. Kareem says, can't get through. The lines are very busy, Kareem. Uh, Dinky do, Scotty, how art thou? Eddie Doyle, I art absolutely tremendous. Dinky do, Scotty, from Tenerife. Ah, Steve McMahon in Tenerife. We love this. This is the gorgeous thing about the internet phone in. Much and all, as I adore local radio, it's just so lovely to be talking around the world. David was Michael Angelo, not Da Vinci. Dave Deprave, good point, Dave. Excellent stuff. Scotty, have you ever considered doing a podcast? Well, Brun, what would be the difference between this and a podcast? Because this gets uploaded to YouTube, and we really need to get YouTube moving. So if you're watching on YouTube tonight, make sure you've subscribed and tapped the bell and shared the channel with everybody in your social media bubble. Hi, Scotty and folks, says Neil Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome. Tonight, our main subject for discussion. Are we dealing with a generation that have been brought up by their grandparents? Have grandparents brought up their sons and daughters, sons and daughters? So there we are. And should we look at, and this it might sound a bit controversial, but it's not should we look at one-wage families? Should we look at the women staying at home or the men staying at home and bringing up the children, right? And just having one person earning the money. I shall tell you about all this later. I'll explain it to you. Fantastic. Good evening, Dave Dinky Doo says D Gurley. How amazing is that? D Gurley, fantastic. Right, to your telephones, I say, and let's hear from you. Yes, indeed. Scotty McClure on the phones. There we are. Uh, make the UK great again. Well, I think the UK Brexit's clobbered the UK, so it will be di very difficult to do that. So I think the only way to make the component countries of the UK great is for the UK to split, and then we will see what is what. Dinky do. Right, the phone line should be open. Um, if you've been trying and trying, ringing and ringing and ringing, and redialing and redialing and redialing, let's hear from you, I say. Kirby the Annihilator. Good evening. Good evening, meet, says Adam. Yes, Adam, I, I do love the good evening, but I'm wondering about the term meet. I'm wondering if we should actually do something about that. So there we go. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Dinky do, Scotty, it's Glenn. Glenn, how are you, la? Are you Dinky do? Yeah, I'm Dinky do yourself. Fan, absolutely, Dinky do, and we've got everybody with us tonight, and we've I got the TikTokers. I tried to ring a few times. It, it says the person you have called is not available at the moment. Well, I think really there's so many people ringing at one I time; mean, it jams it up. It's Glenn, 
gremlins in there. That, okay. Well, yeah. no, I think yeah. just the system is not geared yeah. for what we are doing. Yeah. You're that Scotty, you're that powerful, isn't it? You're that good. It, well, I don't know about good, Glenn, but it's huge, I can come tell on, you that. Come on, come on, Scotty, don't put yourself... Don't sell yourself short. Don't sell yourself short. Uh, I don't know, Glenn. Are you on the TikTok? Uh, I am. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. There's some great TikTok videos uploaded, and there's some great yeah, you know YouTube uh, videos uploaded. If you're on the YouTube. Nice one. Yeah. So it's good this, stuff uh, for you. Scotty, uh, there's some international football this week, Scotty. All right. Well, listen. We agreed never to be put off by football. Because once yeah, you right. start that, once you start running scared yeah. of other media, you've got a serious problem. So as far as Scotty yeah, McClure's no. concerned, we'll do what we do. And if people Scotty, like you know, it, good. Scotty, you know, when you have all these adverts going for half-time and yeah. stadiums and whatnot, it should say, uh, at half-time, put the Scotty McClure show on. on they YouTube. should, yes. Their adverts should say that. They yeah. should all say, Scotty McClure is live. During like the breaks. I like what you've done with Banner anyway, Scotty. Black and blue. You like the old black and blue? Definitely, yeah. <laughs> Are you going to put some... Uh... There's somebody recalling the fact that we've got the world record for calls. 460,000. Scotty, Scotty, did you hear one or two negative millions last night on comments? I thought, what? Yeah, there's one or two negative, but you see, you've got to remember there's a wee oh. touch of the green-eyed monster out there. Oh, yeah. When they're saying all sorts of rubbish to, about you. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Well, they, see, they wish they were you. Scotty, if you can get any better, if you can do any better, put some out of there, and, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Listen, anybody in the world can do what I'm doing. Scotty, it's great presentation what you do. You know, they just need to pop up and do it, so there's no need for any jealousy. There's no need for any animosity, is there? No need for any animosity, no need for any jealousy, no need for any uh, knocking people, you know what I mean? If you don't like it, scroll by. Scotty, I think it's pathetic at times where people go on. Well, I think people just don't understand it. A guy today says, to think I used to respect you because I told them about Queen, you know. What? He goes, to what? think I used to respect you and now I find out that you're just... You know, it, you know the, all this about the monarchy, and I thought, no, yeah, we're just telling yeah. them straight. There's nothing to do with that, you know. I'm just yeah, giving them the facts. You know, I mean, get, get a grip in there some people. Get a grip. Uh, These people they, need to grow up, Glenn. I think what it is, they, they like a difference of opinion, and they just like to make this all look big, girl. Uh, that's what I think it comes down to. I think they to think it. they'll big themselves up. By they putting other that. people down. They want that 15 minutes of so-called fame, don't they? That's what they That's want. That's what they're after. There's and John Boy from Port Glasgow here. Are you still it, telling it straight? Scotty, when it comes to his... his I think it is jealousy and MBS. Uh, yeah. MBS, right? Yeah, they've got problems, I these people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, clearly they're watching you, know? I mean, they're... They're watching your broadcast, obviously. They're, they're well, watching they must be watching it, and they're, they're getting it for free. Now, I don't think there's too much to moan about there, do you? I definitely don't. I think <laughs> was, um, like I said, there's enough out there for people to do what they want to do. I mean, everything what you're doing is fantastic. Well, bless you, Glenn. You're a top man. And, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nip off now because they're going bananas. So, uh, like <laughs> I said, Kareem will be on next, obviously, and then hopefully we'll get some fresh callers on. And yeah, I hope we have Kareem on next. That would be lovely, that. Definitely, Scott. I know he's, he's certainly tried to ring because he said, I can't get through. Yeah, we, we both, all, you know, we all regulars always try to burn up there, so I wish we Well, we like try. that, you know, but you popped up first tonight. Scotty, you were the man back in the day. What do you mean, back in the day? There's a guy from Ireland telling us he's a clown. Now that it's autumn. It we're just yes, we've just gone into autumn last week. The the oh, the the, autumn, the, the, yeah. the summer solstice. Autumn is, solstice. Um, when's winter Scotty? Is it November? For what? When's the when's winter start? Oh winter starts. Uh yeah, it'd be late November, I would think. Late November, yeah. Late November, you get winter, when, but uh, you know. I know, I know you're not much of a football fan, but what do you reckon to 
the World Cup next year. Well, very interesting. Hey, Glenn, here's a guy who goes, Scotty, look how you've grown. This a Winter World Cup in December, Scotty. Oh, oh right well i think i think you'll find that a lot of people during winter can settle down and enjoy phoning in that's it that's it so now it's, um, it's, it's one of the best times i think you, everybody's going to be wanting to just prepare for christmas are they when when uh, this is going on uh, absolutely and the, i can't think of a better place to do that than on the phone in uh, have you got your Christmas uh, shopping ready? Yeah, I've got everything in. I've got a uh, you know a quarter of uh, a quarter of chocolates. Nice one. So we've got all, and I've got a, a glass bottle of glucose drink. Beautiful. We're laughing. I mean, everything's all seasons coming to place, don't they? Have you noticed that? Of course they do. Here's somebody asking: Is Glenn calling from inside a tin of Prince Albert's tobacco? <laughs> <laughs> They're good. Hello from Brisbane in Australia from John Robertson. Uh, Scotty, what service people there for? Just been from uh, on your phone as well. The what, love? What service is going up from overseas? Oh, well, there's a guy uh, saying hi, hi from Brisbane in Australia. I like that. I want to get. Uh, I want to get America calling as well. Yeah, we want to get them all on for a quick chat. Definitely, Scott. Hey, and dinky do la. Dinky do, Scott. See you, la, top man. That's our Glenn. What a great guy. You live in Scotty's phone in? Who's that? Hello? Mr. Nobody wasting his time. Right. If you're phoning up, don't waste your time. Come on and have a proper chat. That's what I say. Fantastic stuff. Now, what do we got here on, on the chat? Let's see if we can get a minute. Um, Dinky do, Scotty. Yo, D. Hello, everybody. Nino. Hi, Scotty. How are you? Hi, Nino. Fantastic stuff. Let's hope I don't get banned tonight. Fantastic. Right, who's calling? Let's see what's going off here. You're live on Scotty's phone in. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's Kareem. Ah. Kareem, brilliant stuff. Busy on the phones tonight. Uh, I couldn't get through. I phoned when you came on and it just says you, it just cut out. So I don't know what happened. <laughs> well, I think it's just mobbed. I can see the numbers down here. And, uh -huh. uh, you know, and it goes up to things like 9 and 10. And then I think we get problems. Because I uh -huh. think what we're trying to do on a shoestring, uh, but uh -huh. doing it very well on a shoestring. And thank you uh -huh. for everybody's generosity, or we couldn't do it at all. And I think what we're trying to do is uh, is just stretches the system a bit. But we're going to press on. Yes, absolutely. You know, we've Definitely. come this far with it. We're into week number five. We're into Whoa. show number 39, I think. Excellent. Yep. yep. Excellent. Amazing. Yep. Now then, so there's somebody going, saying... Going, going. Hello from Aberdeen, Karim. We've got everybody on in the TikTok as well. Yes, the TikTokers, absolutely. I love the TikTokers. I popped up this morning and did an early bird on TikTok and got joined by over a thousand people. Fantastic. Well, you know, at, at something like, I can't remember, I think it was about 20 to 7 in the morning, you know. Really early, yes. Just oh, a bit of chat. Um, today, Scotty, is National favorite teachers day ah so we can ask you who was your favorite teacher oh and why. i can tell you that karim uh, <laughs> a man that we called universally uncle jack he was a right. music teacher he was from dumbarton he was born in 1912 and um he taught in i think the local school the veil of leave and whatever and then uh, he went after he was in the second world war and he flew swordfish, fairy swordfish, off the Ark Royal. Right. And to this day, you can see pictures of that. So he was a lieutenant in the RNVR because he was slightly older, being born in 1912. He was an outstanding musician. And then um, he was 20 years in Kenya, right. uh, teaching at a big public school in Kenya when it was still under uh, uh, British East Africa. 
and he did 20 years and then Kenya got independence in 63. He did another five years and then came back to Scotland in 68 and he was uh -huh. just different class. And in those days, teachers could be a bit violent towards young people. You know, yeah. maybe a pull of the hair or a bit of a slap if they cheeked up. Uh -huh. And uh, he said to me once, he said, I only, he was an absolute gentleman. And he said, I only once struck a boy and I regretted it terribly. And that was him. And he was just, there was never anything like that. He was just different class. And in those days, teachers could also put you down. They would look and say, you'll never amount to anything, boy. You're just an idiot. You know, that sort of stuff. So they would do it. You'll never amount to anything. He was different class. He said to me, what is it you want to do when you leave school? I said, go into banking, sir. And he said, oh, I can see you now. He said, my friend was a manager in the Standard and Chartered Bank in Africa. He said, I could see you with your rolled umbrella. And this lot, this lot will pass you. And I'll say to you, who were they? And you'll say, oh, some riffraff I used to know in school. And he just painted a picture. And the very first day he came in, Kareem, we didn't know what to expect, and it was all boys. It was a music class. And in those yeah. days, a music class quite often consisted of singing community songs from the Oxford Book of Songs. And uh, he came into the class said, good afternoon, boys. And uh, we said, good afternoon, sir. And there was a big boy at the back with his feet on the seats. And he said, can you take your feet off the seats? And he said, it's all right, sir. I'm quite comfy. And he said to him, he said, and you could barely hear this, Kareem, but he fixed him with a stare straight at him, right through me. I was sitting in front, and he goes, don't ever speak back to me. And the guy, the feet came off the seats, and he sat himself up. And then he said, right, boys, page 52, off we go, and sat at the piano. And that was him, and he was just such a source of encouragement. He did all the school shows. He was massive in music in the area, and his stories of Africa were outstanding. And he taught really famous people, and I've met both of them. And I told, I told them, and they went, yes, he did. He taught me music. And one was a very, very famous musician, and the other's a very famous politician. It's funny the power that a teacher can have on a person. There'll be people listening just now that have not been in school for God knows how many years. Yeah. If they sit back and think of that one teacher, that yep. was outstanding. But sadly, see, there'll be people that can think of a teacher that, oh my God, they were hell for me, the, the torture, just, you know, the, the anxiety, the stress, the pressure. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's a funny... It's a funny thing how the power it just it's in the back of your mind. Well, you, you know, know, it's so interesting yeah. because I um I hosted a concert and it was a concert for schools, and I actually recalled him. I said, "You never know how far a teacher's influence goes," and I uh -huh. recalled him. This might be two or three years ago, and I recalled right. him. And, uh, you know, that and he would now be, of course, obviously something like 109. And when my mother rang me to say Uncle Jack passed away, uh -huh. I was devastated. And I was walking by the Lancaster Canal on the uh -huh. afternoon of his funeral. And I really felt this big hollow because uh -huh. this wonderful man had left the world. But think how many people he's inspired. Oh, for goodness sake, yes. And I'll tell you here that he did, it, it was the same result, but a different technique. So you might have had a senior master that would shout to us, where are you supposed to be, boy? You say, in mathematics, or get there now. So there was that. Then he would call you over and go, hey, pst, come here. Where are you supposed to be? Mathematics, sir. Right, listen, the boss is on the prowl, so be careful. Get up the stairs now. Go that way. And he would yeah. just send you up another stair. <laughs> That's clever, that, because you, you st you're still doing the same thing. You do the same <laughs> thing, but you feel the teacher's on side with you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll give a wee story. Are you, are you almost sorry you asked me the question now, Kareem? What's that? 
sorry. Are you almost sorry you asked me the question? I mean, I had no, so no, many no. teachers like that. One was a famous artist, another yeah. taught chemistry, but was a famous musician and an authority right. on steamships. He was a joy to behold, and he could have had the baton of any international orchestra, but he taught wow. in the school. Uh, he'd been the head boy originally and all that stuff, and he'd wow. never been away from the school apart from doing his degree. Then he came back and taught, you know, so he was outstanding. Another one was a, 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 a spokesperson for a massive political party. Right. Excellent. Do you know, so I mean, they were they were very influential people. Yeah. Could you name someone that you felt, my goodness, they, they, they shouldn't have went into teaching? <laughs> or did you uh, have anybody? Well, like no, they were, they were all quite spectacular. Um, yeah. We had a wonderful old guy, beautifully turned out with a very bad limp and a stick. And I once asked what happened to him, because a lot of them had been in the Second World War, and a boy uh, had run into him with a bicycle and broken his leg. Oh, goodness, right. You know, and that was him crippled for life, but he turned up every day. We had another one with a wooden leg that got a boat at 7 o'clock in the morning or 6 o'clock in the morning and came to the school. Wow, right, right. I, I can remember uh, it was a negative experience. Um, and I felt um, it was primary four, and it was a stand-in teacher, um, and he made me feel so small and made me cry in front of the class. Um, and it was he went up to you know the boards they used to have. It was uh, black. Was this was this last week? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be making light. I knew you'd appreciate that. <laughs> and um, he basically said, what is that? And I said, that's 11. <sighs> and, he, he, and he shouted. And you know, when you're a wee primary four, and it was an older man, I think he was near retirement, and he went off his head and he said, what is that? I says, it's 11. And I said, no, it's not. It's a one and a one. And he pointed so hard into my shoulders. Yeah. And I will always remember that. But what was really, um, really disappointing was the fact that when I told my mum that, she complained to the school what the teacher done. I, I felt he was mildly racist, obviously, because of my name and uh, my, my background. However, um, what was disappointing, the head teacher pulled me to the side and said, how dare you make a, uh, raise a complaint about uh, I wouldn't say his name. Uh, he's an outstanding teacher. And I just thought that was such, uh, I mean, although he was a supply teacher, it was, I didn't get into trouble. I was good at primary school. And I think teachers knew that, but I just felt very bad judgment by that head teacher taking that supply teacher's um, word for whatever he told them. I didn't hear anything about it again, but that's just something. To, I'm now 40. And that still sticks in my mind. No, they do. I mean, these things, uh, these things do. They certainly do. Absolutely fantastic. Yes, Kareem, I'm going to dash because they're all going bananas here. I know. I'm yapping on. I'll say thank you, to Scotty. Thank, thank you, do, and you. thank you very Bye. much. National Teacher Day. Happy day to your telephones as soon as you possibly can. We've a lot to get through tonight. Let's hope I don't get banned tonight. Says Jim Lull James. Evening, all evening, Jerry. Uh, my man, Da, remember you on the radio. I'm never off putting a jaggy nettle on. I don't know what that means. Right, off to the telephones. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Oh, this is Terry. Terry? Yeah, Scotty, I've got to ask you, has Davey been on tonight? No, he's not been on tonight yet. All right, because it's an excellent show you're doing, you know. Are you liking it? I think it's absolutely fabulous. It's just that when he comes on, he's so boring. David's boring. The absolutely outrageous man he is. Yeah, but I mean, you know, so what? You know, I mean, what's, what is your problem? You know, I mean, he's not costing you anything. There we are, to the telephones. I had a history teacher that had walking stick and he'd whack it in your desk and say in a deep voice, Hector has walking. Yes, bitchy, bitchy. We love all that. 
Now, what have we got on the TikTok here? Happiness is a great gift, says Ken Dog's dad. Do you think the council workers are underpaid? Well, it depends which workers you're talking about. There's juice loose about this hoose. Is the council juice loose? What's that man's problem, says Lahoop? Absolutely, Lahoop. Pineapple Heat says, there we are. There's somebody on about Kareem. Uh, this was a funny BAM up 20 years ago. Thank you. Hello from Aberdeen. We love you in Aberdeen. You've got a worldwide reach, Scotty, says the boss. Yes, and the boss. I drink your health, the boss. That tea is absolutely outstanding. To the telephones as quickly as you like. Let's have a call from you. There we go. Oh, there we are now. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Hi, it's Scottish Glenn again. Glenn, what can I do for you, lad? How's it going? Well, we've we've had Kareem. You were quite right. Definitely, yeah. La Hoop says, Scotty, you're the man. Isn't that fabulous? La Hoop's uh, a top man in Ireland. Scotty, do you think we'll have snow this year? Do you think so, Glenn? You think so? Well, can I tell you something? It yeah. was very cold this morning when I left. All right, yeah. Very cold. And I just went out to check something there, and it was very cold. I think, yeah, I think we're going to get a bit of snow sooner rather than later. I think, I think we're going to have a winter, a really strong winter this winter, Sky. Yeah, yeah. You think it'll be tough? I think so, yeah. I, I don't like the scenery, though, to be honest. Yeah, but Yorkshire, you know, it's interesting. I'll tell you this. I was going out to the um, northwest of Sheffield. Yeah. And uh, it was a winter's night, but the roads were all clear. And then I turned off into a country road because I had a little cottage. And I just, the car just completely lost it. Yeah. And I managed to steer out of it. I was heading for, you know, these 200 year old Yorkshire walls. I do, yeah. Well, I was heading for one of them. I thought, oh, please, God, no. Anyway, I managed to steer clear of it. I didn't feet off everything, you know. And we managed yeah. to get out of it. And when I got out, there was half an inch of solid black ice. And I'd That's come back right. at, I don't know, 40 miles an hour, you know. Yeah. On main That's road. But when I turned off main road, there yeah. it was. So it just shows you, you've got to watch your scent. Yeah, definitely when it comes to this time of year, Scott. You know, and, and, and Sheffield, as you know, it, mm -hmm. it's it's high and it gets these these beautiful cold frosty days. Yeah, especially in the morning, Scott. Oh, the frost on inside that window. Yeah. And you have to tell your son, don't you? You go, get up. <laughs> Scott, it's like, I don't, I, I don't mind either season, but I do like winter, Scott. Hey, Glenn, uh, what about I this? I, Glenn, here's yeah. somebody on TikTok. Scotty, how do you feel about Friday night phone in trivia, three strikes, you're out format? Yeah, sounds good. Yep, and here's somebody else saying HMS Sheffield. Brilliant. What about that? And bonjour from Adam. Do Scott, do you reckon you could do some culture corner on that? We might do a bit of one. No, we can't play the music, you see. Yeah, that's the problem. With that's the problem. Right? Otherwise, we'd be done for copyright. And some, and some quiz night, Scott. A bit of quiz might be an idea, you know. General knowledge and a bit of trivia. Bit of general knowledge, that stuff, a little yeah. bit of trivia. Do you like to play Trivial Pursuits, guy? Well, do you know that I was playing Trivial Pursuits with my mother and my sister once? Yeah. And they they came up with a question about Scotty McClue. Oh, yeah. And I said, you're having a laugh with me. You made that up. They said, no, look, and showed us. And there was a Trivial Pursuit question about Scotty McClue. You, can, you, can't, you can't bother me, could you? You can't make that up, can you? You definitely call, can you? You know, and for, yeah. fortunately, I knew the answer. <laughs> Scotty, imagine if you didn't. Absolutely. I mean, imagine if you didn't what, know it about your sin. What, what do you reckon to, you know, all these different versions of world games? About the what, Glenn? Sorry. You know, the Monopoly game? Yeah. What do you reckon to them bringing different versions? I like that? it. Is there a Sheffield version? There is one, yes, Scotty, yeah. Hey, brilliant. We'll have a game at that. 
what happens now in Monopoly though, is if you've got a cashless, um, you know, like a contract. So cashless. you can do things like you've just bought Medawall? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> you've just... I mean... You've just you've just put some some hotels and totally. Well, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Take them for a road and all that. Absolutely. I'm in Dillsborough. Dillsborough is like a yellow, I reckon, or a red. Fantastic. You've just bought Sheffield Wednesday. Oh, and, and the other one's got it. You've just bought it. Station. <laughs> yeah. Hey, lovely. Yeah. Glenn, I'm going to have to dash, la. Scotty, you know, when it comes to old-fashioned train stations, you yeah. know, like the, the less expensive train stations, do you think council should put more money into these stations instead of your bigger, fran bigger franchise ones with shop shopping centres? in? Yeah, I shouldn't. I, I think, I mean, anything to do with the railways. Dr. Beeching in 1964-65 made such yeah. a flaming mess of this country's river. This is why I have to say the Conservatives can be very, very damaging to our infrastructure if it's to do with ordinary people. And, you know, the railways in this country were outstanding. Okay, some of them weren't making money, but look at what they're yeah. putting into that HS2. Do you think they should spread it out a bit more evenly? Yeah. Yeah, I certainly do. But sometimes, sometimes local stations what are a little bit more minimalistic They've still got the characteristics to keep them. Yeah, they do, and I like some of them are very nice with flowers and everything. Whereas you've got these fancy train stations with supermarket, with shopping centres in them, that, and it's it takes the edge away a bit, doesn't it? It's it like, does a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, I like the little yeah. local one. Yeah, I mean, you know, like Birmingham and Manchester. And yeah, Manchester the big and ones. That. What about the little ones where they make an announcement every 30 seconds? Please stand clear of the track. Yeah, mind the gap and all that. Please mind the gap. <laughs> and the, Please and don't the leave your luggage unattended. When you've got four train stations within a five-minute train or each other kind of thing, five, ten-minute train or each other, and like, I, I think that, that's the, when you're stood on a platform and you're thinking, I wish this train had area real because it's getting even colder today. Oh, stop, Glenn. You're freezing us all dinky do lot. <laughs> I'll you say that. that. I'll say that. Yeah. Top man, that's our plan. Uh, right now, Iona tells and Putney says, Chris, do you think the trams are a good idea in Edinburgh? David, I haven't had a chance to really take advantage of the Edinburgh trams. My concern was the buses in Edinburgh pre trams were absolutely outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. You're live in Scottish phone in, who's that? Uh, who is it? It's Raymond. Raymond, how lovely to have you with us in Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo, Dinky Doo. Ah, Dinky Doo. Somebody's saying, what about this for an announcement? Don't use the toilet while the train's in the station. Well, I'll tell you, I'm no happy, Scotty. I'm no happy. What's wrong, Raymond? The trains are no one on the Sundays now. Ah, right. So, and I like getting the train for Falkirk High, Ken. Ken, Falkirk High, and uh, what about, um, what about the, what's the other one, Falkirk High and? And Falkirk Grahamston. Grahamston, that's it, Falkirk Grahamston. And I remember yeah. a friend saying, I'll meet you, but we're going to an old chum's funeral. He says, no, just jump the train and I'll meet you. And I couldn't even mind if it said hi or Grahamston. So I had to look out for his car at the station. You know, this was the problem, and I thought, oh, no, what did he say? I'll tell you, Scotty. The last time I was on that train, Ken. Ken. I came on the announcement. Ken. If you see anything unusual, yes. text this number. Right. When you're in Falkirk, there's loads of things that are unusual. I know, you've even somebody's hat you're going to be texting, you know. Oh, you look at the window, I'm, uh, he's been texting them all day. There's a boy with different coloured socks on here. Aye. <laughs> but I'm glad to see you with your flat cap on again, pal. It's good, isn't it? We're back in business, eh? Back in business. Back in business, son. And, and Jeannie, the wife, she, she's a bit shy. Maybe uh, next week I'll phone you. She would like to say hello to you. Put her on and say hello any time, Raymond. 
Alpina Alfuna Mix, she's in the other room, uh, Scotty, but if you say hello, Jeannie, I'll get up next week, right? Hello, Jeannie, lovely to have you with us, dinky do, Ken. Thank you, do, Raymond. Keep up, keep up the good work, Scotty. Bless you, sir. Thank you, do, Lala. <laughs> what a fine fellow. Right, free the flying Scotsman, says Chris. The flying Scotsman is free. Yes, she is up and running big style. Right, what do we got here? Lol, Scotty, says Suzanne. So, what's this? I'm never half putting that jaggy nettle on like a hot drink. What's that? Or the jagginet or the kettle or going, Scotty, what land-based animal has the biggest eyes? Oh, right. Let's see if we can get this one. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello. 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 How are you, Scotty? Very well. Who's that? It's Steve from Liverpool again. Steve, how lovely to have you with us. Dinky do. Dinky do. Are you enjoying the phone in? I'm enjoying I'm on it. I'm already on it, yeah. I've yeah. been listening. <laughs> Fantastic, lad. Good to hear you. What's happening in yeah. real world? Uh, well, I've been up Cowan Calf today. You've done what? Been up the Cowan Calf. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Keeping busy. Keeping, keeping out of mischief. That's right, yep, yep, yep. That's what it's about. And how's the pool doing? It's doing all right. Um, anyway, everybody, you know, everyone always asks um, we are. How yeah. about how you are? How I am. What a lovely thing to say. Yes, well, lots of lovely people ask how I am. And I think, no, how are they? So you see, it works yeah. both ways. It does, yeah. But I don't hear much of that. No, you don't hear them too much now. But no, I'm absolutely fine. I'm chuffed to bits with the quality of the people coming on here. Yeah, well, I've followed you for a long time, as you know. But... You have indeed, sir. Yeah. Do you know, I can't believe all these beautiful people that it's coming up, as you know, 30 years in June. Yeah, and yeah. and people oh, wow. from all over the country. Ah, oh, Scotty McClue, you know. It's really quite humbling. Is it? That it is. Quite, yeah, yeah. Quite humbling, Steve. Absolutely not. Yeah. Now. Hello? Hello? Um, hello? Hello? I think we're losing you a bit, Steve. It's gone yeah. a bit funny. You take care of your son. There we are. Do you like baked beans? I'm not mad on them, dinky dude. Do you know there's a mine in Calder Crooks? I didn't know that, but it is right for a mining area, right out there and into Armadale and West Lothian, all round. There's a lot of mining out there. There's no doubt about that. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. Suzanne. Suzanne. We love having you on. Do you know that? I wondered when you were going to phone back. No, my so. darling, please don't think you need to pluck up the courage. It's just pick up the phone and have a bit chat. Oh, no. I'm a, I'm a bit of a coward. I'm no, you are not a coward. You're a very brave lady. You look at what you've dealt with in your life. You are very brave. Okay. Well, most people that. don't have your courage. <laughs> well, it's just great. Great to see how the everybody's coming along and it's getting bigger and bigger every night. It's developing with a wee bit of a setback, obviously, Saturday night when the phones went bananas. We, I uh, But I know what's causing that. There's just too many people trying to get on at the one time. And the system's no geared for that in the way the old radio stations were. And also, uh, but then it cost thousands and thousands of pounds in those days, you know. And then the other thing is that uh, one of the big uh, social media platforms was down last night. Mm -hmm. So we, you I know, we, we lost a wee bit of that. But then that, it doesn't matter because we're here. And what I'm loving about it, Suzanne, is people are here because they want to be. And if anybody doesn't want to join us, they don't have to. We're not bothered. You see, because the internet is so massive 
that doesn't have somebody came on one time and said to me see if you don't stop cheeking up to people you'll lose all your listeners i said are uh -huh. you kidding i said it's just doubled yeah yeah we'll get back on back i mean I, you know here the first night and remember the sound was going and all that the sound was coming and going and there was all that going on but then we sorted a lot of these technical things out i was going to come back on on saturday night because we lost a few minutes at the end of the show but it was 1 13 before i got the phones working and i thought 1 13 they'll all be in their beds yeah what was that suzanne you sound as if you're under the water there Hello? Oh, I think we're losing you. It sounds like you're playing the guitar. <laughs> there we are. That's our Suzanne, though. And she is one super lady, I can tell you. There we are. Yes, indeed, Chris, you're quite right. Two big platforms down for six hours. Well, we're not on the second one. I'm wondering if we can get on the second one. That's an interesting one. Yes, indeed. Uh, now, what have we got? A chicken lived with her head for 18 months. Oh, Dave, for goodness sake. Dave, can you not put negative stuff up? Yeah, people are on here for a laugh. Vacuum cleaners were originally horse-drawn. Facts. <laughs> a horse-drawn vacuum cleaner. You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. Yes. Hi, it's Dee Gurley. Sorry, I'm trying to turn you down. Dee, oh, don't turn me down. Oh. Don't turn me off. <laughs> no, fantastic. Dee, I can't Dee, thank you enough right. for your kindness oh, and your listen, generosity and your lovely message. Oh, listen, um, mm. it's been worth it every single penny. So don't it was just that. so good of you. And, and, and your wee message that says, you know, Scotty's given us so much, let's give him a bit exactly. back, you know. And it was exactly. just so lovely of you. And I thought, oh. who on earth put all this money in? I thought, it's D. <laughs> Do you know what oh, I mean? Come on, it's, it's huge. It no, no, sure darling, it's huge. It. Because I'll tell you, I'm looking for 100 angels at £7.50. So you're uh -huh. three angels. Oh, that's lovely. You're three lovely. angels. <laughs> if I get 100 at £7.50, then we can move on to the next step. I can get another yeah, wee bit of stuff. Because it when, just when means... I because I just have to sit and try and save it all up, you know what I mean? And you know what it's like these days. Oh, definitely. I understand hundred percent. You know, you think, but well, we can only do it. I was wanting to ask you a question. Um I won't I won't uh, mention any company names no. or anything like that. And I know you're a wise man. It was just a wee bit of advice and you know how the, the energy prices are like yes. at the moment. Right? Yes. So um Oh, I have been in a dizzy all day. Um, it's a wonder I've got any hair left. Anyway, I was switching companies. Right. Um, I won't let me. That's the big issue. I, I, I was in the middle of before I had. No, you're fine, Dee. Just relax. Because listen, this is something yeah. that's of interest to everyone at the moment. Well, right. Okay. Yeah. So press I, on. As I say, right. don't mention no. the companies. It makes it more flexible. So what ha what happened was I'm one of these people that go compares the market all the time and good. for deal. Good. And I, you know, so I'm always one of them. So I had changed suppliers before all this gas carry on happened. And um I've managed to swap but I get charged and then I get an email saying I'm now with this new supplier but um my old supplier of gas won't let my account go. And I don't know why. Couldn't get through to them all day today, Scotty. The, the, it's, the phone light, I think the whole nation is really in a quandary with a scam. Well, a lot of these people are working from home. And the only thing I will say to you, Dee, is sometimes something that looks cheaper, you think, what's their backup like? So I mm -hmm. tend to rightly or wrongly stay with the kind of so-called mainstream providers yeah, yeah. um uh, you know even although they charge a wee bit more i know i can phone them and give them what for if there's a problem absolutely, whereas some, absolutely. some another company might say well, we don't do that you know we don't have engineers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so can so this this um 
uh, provider that I'm with, can they do that? Can they hold Well, Scottish it? TikToker on TikTok here. This is what's brilliant about this internet setup. We're getting instant feedback. Scottish TikToker is very, very wise. Says because your gas will be in a contract. So oh, okay. he's saying you're, and you, although you wanted to switch and you've said to the new law, I want to switch for you. And they're saying, fine, they can get it because you're under contract the other lot. So it depends when that expires. So when you're phoning them, and don't worry if you can't get them on the phone, they might have a chat line on the internet. And because yeah. a lot of these employees are working from home, mm -hmm. uh, they prefer the chat things. So they go, hi, I'm Mary, yeah. I'm your person today yeah, what can i do for you and you go can i do and they go oh yeah um, it doesn't expire for another three months yeah so it might well, be worth checking is, that i will I'll look into that but the thing is tiktokers well, also you, saying sorry to interrupt you will no, need no, to pay your contract off first but you see it is right so my, my contract is paid off this is what's making, making me, ah. I just don't know what's going on. Um, my new contract, I've took on my electricity, but my old contractors are keeping my gas and not letting my account go. And that's fully paid up to date. It's not right. that or anything. Well, there, there's another guy, CBS1690, is saying they have to let your account go after 48 right. hours of cancelling it. Ah, right, okay. Okay, excellent. That, that, okay, that's probably so. That's, that's quite good. Uh, somebody's right. written here McClue's lips to God's ears. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I love these people. There's, do you know, know, there's, there's okay, we've had a couple of uh, silly trolls try it on, but see the beautiful people on here. Of course, of course. We're, mm. all, we're all for Scotland, we're all for Scotland. And, and CBS and, says, uh, I had that problem yeah, when I really moved home. Right. Okay. So, so there's 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 lots of help out there, Dee. They're all coming on and telling oh, us what's like what. Yeah, I'll have a look into it. But that um, I forgot what you said. The, the, that that fella's name in um, forty eight hours. Um, I think that actually makes a lot of sense. That so, makes sense. So um, maybe it'll take a wee yeah, while. Yeah, I'll have a look into it in the morning and find out. But I'll if you've officially cancelled it, according to him. They have to uh -huh. let you go after the 48 hours. But they'll all right. be in a bit of a mess because remember, everybody will be it trying really this. Know. You know, and they should never have. I mean, you see, what it makes, I don't know that companies understand this. So the people who are going to suffer from high prices, which could be negotiated, the elderly and everything. The it's elderly going to be the old people and the frail people. Absolutely. Right? So, so that's it's what's going to happen there. Now, yeah. the younger people are going to go, well, just make sure you put it off then. Yeah, yeah. You see? Exactly. They'll be sitting they'll going, well, don't don't put the heat on. What, how long is that heat on? You go, oh, well, oh, six hours oh, a day. No. Right, well, cut it down yeah. to two. Yeah. yeah. You see? Definitely. And they'll be definitely. saving their 200 quid, you know, and saying, well, they'll not be getting it, which means that the companies will not be getting it. Absolutely. Well, I was looking at it. I won't say his name on it, but the pillar no. that always gives a good advice out. He's oh, I like a, him. I like him. He's amazing. He's amazing. Yes. So um, I looked into him, and he, t I mean, he's seen basically a lot of big ga gas companies have, have, have went bust. Yeah. And um, I had a look at some of the Go Compare uh, companies. Some of them I've not even heard of, honestly. And I'm like, oh, oh my goodness. But um, but you see, it's interesting because one man's meat's another man's poison. And if these uh, companies yeah. are going bust, two things, richer companies could pick them up cheap or pick up their customers. And the yeah. other thing is that um, it means it means less competition. Absolutely, yeah. So the, big, the very big companies will be rubbing their hands. I know. Do you know, this has been all day. This is me just sort of a sat down and um, I actually missed a wee bit of you. I've seen it. I was in there for a wee while then. I, I said, yeah, I need to get an email to this, this gas uh, person because they've took money and they shouldn't have took money. No, they shouldn't have took money at oh, all. Honestly, Scotty. You know, you know that's the <laughs> stuff. I know, I'm I, just, but listen, you're in charge. <laughs> just say to them, listen, if you don't start sorting this out, I'll have to stop all these payments. 
Yeah. Cancel well, all that. So you can not cancel. You've signed. You say no, 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 no. You're not listening to me. You need to uh -huh. sort this out. Right. So uh, am I? Can I cancel direct debits? Am I? Yes, you can cancel oh, direct oh, debits, but the only thing is just watch the contractual thing. <laughs> but you can right, cancel okay. a direct debit. You can stop right, a check. Okay. You can do all these things, but right. you know you 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 have to watch that they don't go. Well, we we'll, we'll sue you for the money in all that kind of right, nonsense. Okay. You start getting the letters through the. I but I think but you on. see even the letters on that. Do you know what I mean? That's all mm -hmm. supposed to try and say we're in charge, yeah, and yeah, you've yeah. got to say back. No, no, I'm the yeah. customer. I'm in charge. Your job is to provide me with the energy on my terms. If you can't do it, then I'm sorry. You can you can stick it. Yeah. Well, you've given me the energy to cope with us tonight. There we are. There's Kalelio <laughs> going. I had a financial issue once. I got the ombudsman involved. It was sorted in days. Really? Right. Yep. Okay. Brilliant. So Fantastic. Then. I'm really glad I phoned because I was honestly tearing the hair out my head. So oh, sure you um, can do. You go round in circles. Uh, and then the yeah. other thing is they put you on hold and they play classical music oh, and you're half an hour go, we'll be, we'll be coming to you shortly. Your call is valuable to us. <laughs> you think, shortly, but 25 minutes. I know, I know. What shortly? This is the thing. Oh. So, so what you need to do, D, to have a nice life is lengthen yeah. your fuse. So you think, do you know Absolutely. what? It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't stress over these things. Don't yes. Stress. Try and not There's stress. Stressful things going on in this world. We don't worry yeah. and we don't stress. Yeah. Yeah. Very important. Haven't enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you take right. care of yourself, my darling. It's so thank lovely to you. hear from you. And thank you, everybody, for your help. And, um, we'll and get there. And if there's any more, just come back on and we'll get some more help. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dinky-doo. Okay, See you, Angel. You Thanks Bye. again. Bye. Bye. There's Bye. RD. That's fantastic. Worried about her bills. Lots of people will be, but we will help each other. Scapa Flo from Texas is consulting tonight. Dinky do, lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live with the internet phone in. This is big stuff, I say. There we are. Now, who have we got here? Never a dull moment. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. How are you getting on? Who's that? It's Kenneth here from Kilsyth. Kenneth from Kilsyth. We love it. Lovely to hear from you. Dinky do. Dinky do, Scotty. How are you doing this evening? We're great. Uh, are you enjoying the phone in, Kenneth? Oh, I'm loving that, Scotty. I used to listen to you years ago, pal. I'm glad <laughs> to see you back in the business. We're back in. We're back in business because I thought to myself, you know, there's no point in sitting waiting for a phone call from a radio station because it will probably no come. So what I'll do is I'll just go up myself. You know, and I mean, well, what was going to happen? Either nobody phones, and if nobody phoned, I thought I'll give it three months. If nobody phones, night one, we were stowed out the door and step it through. Oh, uh, yeah, Scotty, just I remind you saying earlier they are talking about trains. Yes. Well, I'm a retired train driver, you see. Fabulous. Now, I've always wanted to talk to you because you're a man of experience who knows his stuff and you're used to taking big responsibility. Well, Scotty, I'll tell you about the biggest problem we have in the train. You can't even get quality drivers like yourself. <laughs> I mind you saying about someone saying not to use the toilet in the station. Yes. Well, the biggest problem with these modern trains, half the people go into these toilets, you know, these fancy sliding doors. Yes. Well, they go away in and they forget to lock the door. Ah. So they're in there doing their business and the, the door opens and they get revealed like the prize in a 70s game show. Oh, no. And that's. You can't be having that in the train. No. A lot of complaints to that. Scott. Well, I'm not surprised because I, I remember this sort of slidey door once. 
And I can remember when I was just sorting myself out, you know, and I thought to myself, I hope that door doesn't fling open. You can never be too sure it's, it's a, a risk, but sometimes you've just got to take What's wrong with the old doors with the big brass bolt on it that go from vacant to engaged? You know that's not going to open. That's quite a good That was that. proper stuff. Definitely, Scotty. You need to bring them back. We should start a petition. I think we can be too modern. Do you remember for a while they installed them in the main streets? Uh, yes. They disappeared. Uh, they had the slidey put, door and all the rest of it. Aye, uh, you put the wee 20 pence in. And aye. You, in there. aye. you popped in. No, I say it. But it didn't last. It's interesting. Aye, well, it's, it's, it's a young generation. They don't keep anything clean and tidy. That's the problem. And they vandalise it. They throw the paper about and jam it oh. down the lavvy and you wonder why you bother giving people like that facilities That's it, Scotty. tell me are you old enough to remember the giles cartoons giles, giles you used to get a book that. of giles cartoons i think were they was it the daily express giles was in a canny mind anyway uh, you got these wonderful books. They were very funny. And I can remember football fans had smashed up a football special train, oh, broken yeah. the basins and ripped up the seats and turned them into sawdust and all that. And the cartoon was just flat wagons. You know the flat wagons they used to set the containers on? So it was just flat wagons, and it said football special we thought you'd occupy your tiny minds by holding on. <laughs> Tell me, Scotty, would that be late 80s? Yes, yes, uh, 70s, 80s, 60s, 70s, 80s, I think. And at Christmas, you could get a book of Giles cartoons. And they were brilliant. And there was characters in them. There was like a wee, a wee fat wifey who was grandma, you know. Yeah, you look at that. Kaleo's going, I remember Giles on here. Fantastic. If we can dig up the past, I'm sure I've seen it somewhere, Scotty. You will have. You will have. Can I say what a privilege it's been to have you on and thank you for all the wonderful things you do? Right. Train thank driving you. has and got huge respect. You keep up the good work, Scotty. You are you very kind. Right. And dinky do. Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do, buddy. All the best. What a top man. I love having a train driver on. They are so skilled. Guys, I think we're going to have to say goodbye to the beautiful TikTokers. We love you, TikTokers. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. This is Scotty McClue saying dinky do to every one of you. And taralas. That's how TikTokers have left us. Lovely people. You're live and Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty, it's Grant. Grant, dinky do. How are you, sir? I'm okay. Uh, I just wanted a bit of advice. Go on, go on. Just having a hard time lately. It's like just depression and whatnot. Just I want some. Right, Grant, what age, what age group roughly are you? Um, late 20s. Right. Right. And and what has actually kind of triggered it, would you say? I would say it's, it's been more of a long term thing. Um, right. You've just got fed up. Is it is it is it just life in general? Is it relationships? Is it how you feel? Is it what you're doing for work? I think it's just life in general and, and how the past year has been. Like. Right. Now what I'm gonna say to you, Grant, the most important thing, you are not alone you are not alone and out there there's a lot of people who are facing the same thing and a lot of people sending you strength right now That's good to hear. right now grant and i think this is something um give me a wee call if you can get through earlier next time and yeah. we'll we'll have a bit of a chat about it and we'll take advice from the nation and remember, you, you are certainly not alone. We send you strength and love. Thanks, mate. 
and we'll catch up soon, Grant. We're just running straight out of time, but we'll catch up soon, La. Night, night, Bless you, and night, night. Strength to you. Thank you. Yep, absolutely, and thank you. What a top man. There we are. Lots and lots of people will be having that at the moment. Guys, we're right out of time. This is Scotty McClure saying thank you very much for our Tuesday evening phone-in, and dinky-doo, and da-da-las! <laughs>